Hello. We begin with the session on statistics. We'll be directly taking up the central tendency, measurements of the central tendency, wherein we start with arithmetic mean of individual uh, data. That means they are ungrouped data in that case. Mean is given by the summation of all the observations. Suppose you have n observations, so it is summation of all the observations divided by number of observations. It's 1 by n summation of xi, where i starts with 1. It is simple when we say it is x1 plus x2 plus x3 and you go on with number of x observations that is still suppose xn. This by number that is number of observations this is the simplest way of calculating the arithmetic mean when it is of ungrouped data. And simplest of the questions become I write it down first. Suppose it says find the arithmetic mean of first 10 odd numbers. So in that case the odd numbers the first 10 becomes 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. In that case it becomes 1 plus 3. So it is summation of all the first 10 odd numbers that is 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9 and 10. So as because the number of observation will be 10 so divided by n that is 10. This should give us the mean of the first 10 odd numbers. If you add this I will be getting 100 by 10 so that is giving you 10. This is the simplest application of the arithmetic mean. Now let us take up more questions. I write down the next one here. If the mean of the observations are given 6, 4, 7 and the fourth one which is not given and is substituted by P and 10 it says the mean is 8. We have to find the value of P. That means that that is an observation. Let us continue as we calculate the mean. So in that case, we will be calculating mean that is our 8 as 6 plus 4 plus 7 plus P by 4. So let us solve now that is 32 is equal to 17 plus P. In that case, there are 5 observations. I made a mistake here. It is 6, 4 and there is also a 10 which I forgot to write down. Thereby making the total sum to be 40 and here I am getting 10, 20 and this becomes 27. So P becomes 40 minus 27 and that is 13. This is one more type of uh, one more variety of application and then now I move on to the another question on the same. I write down the next one though here. It says the mean of 40 observations was 160. It was detected on retaking. that the value of 165 was wrongly 
copied as 125 for computation of mean. Find the correct mean. Now, so we have the number of observations to be I'll just write down the number of observation is given to be 40 oh it got changed the color it's okay n is equal to 40 and the mean that is x bar that's given to be 160 now it was detected on checking the value of 165 or oh, this is was wrongly copied as 125 for computation of the mean and that means the total uh, add I mean the sum was 40 into 160 the sum of all the observations 16 for 64 so 6400 was the total in this is included 125 instead of 165 so we will subtract the wrong recording and will add the correct recordings so this recording will give this data will give us the total which says it is addition of 40 so 6440 now this is the total sum of the observations thereby to find the correct mean we will have to divide this by the number of observations that was already given to us as 40 and that will give the new mean or the correct mean to be 161 which was wrongly calculated as 160. Let's take up more question. I write down the next one. It says the mean of five number is 18. If one number, oh sorry, if one number is excluded, their mean is 16. find the excluded number so let us note down the information given it says n is 5 and the mean is 18 sorry the mean is 16 mean is 18 yes sir So the total was summation of x was 18.5 is 90. So the total of 5 numbers become 90. Now it says if one number is excluded, let the number excluded, let the number which is excluded to be a, b, c because x is already there, I will take as a. Now it says that means 90 minus a so that will when we calculate one number excluded the number of observations now become 4 in this case the mean is 16 from this information we have to calculate a so it is 90 minus a is 64 so a will be 90 minus 64 and I think that is giving me 626. Okay. So the excluded number was 26. Let's move on with next. Okay. Next comes the arithmetic mean of grouped data or the discrete frequency distribution. In this case, we'll be learning the direct method, we'll be learning the shortcut method, we'll also be learning the 
step deviation method let us take up first the direct method and i'll just write down here i'm taking the mean of grouped data or sometimes it is also called as discrete frequency distribution first the direct method The direct method is very simple. We calculate mean here as summation of fx by summation of x. That means in each case you will find f1, x1, then f2, x2. For all the observations we will be calculating this until you get, sorry, up to fn and xn divided by summation of f that means you will add up all the f f1 f2 f3 and so on till the last frequency right let us take up very simple one here i'll just be making a table this is given to be x this is given as f here you write for 4 here you will the frequency is given to be 5 for 6 it is given as 10 9 i'm just taking up a small example just to make ourselves clear about the application of the formula and then 10 this gives us 7 here we have 15 and that will give us one another 8 now i'll make i'll add on another column to this because we need fx here i'll write f oh sorry this f i and we call it x i for every observation we will now be noting down fx so it is 24 into 5 6 into 10 60 9 10 90 7 10 70 and it is 15 into 8 it's 120 now to calculate the mean you have to first add this column and then this column if we add this suppose if it is summation of x f i x i that i think will be giving 8200 290 360 this is giving 360 and here it is 20 25 30 40 so summation of f is 40 so when you calculate mean it will be summation of f i x i by summation of x f i that giving me 360 by 40 that is 90 so this was sorry this is 9 I made a mistake that 0 will get cancelled and it will be 9 the mean of the question we have taken now we will be also taking up <coughs> one more question on the application of the formula for direct method calculation of mean again let me note down the question It says find the value of P. One of the similar questions we had taken there but the formula and the applications will be different as we are taking the same question, similar question actually under uh, ungrouped data of the following distribution 
is 7.5 well you get the question in an information but I'll be making it in a tabular form for our convenience we'll need three columns one column is additional from our side that's not given in the question that will be for obviously calculation of FIXI. This is given to be X. Oh, oh sorry, I'll be writing it as F. Yeah, that was X I. Here it is given as F I. Now the information which are given to us is this for three the frequency is 6 for 5 the frequency is 8 for 7 the frequency is 15 for 9 the frequency is P for 11 the frequency is 8 for 13 the frequency is 4. We'll continue as we did in the previous one. We'll be calculating Fi, Xi because that is how uh, uh, that, that will need to apply into the formula of finding the mean of a group data. Now to note down Fi, Xi this is 18, this is 40, this is 105 now when it when we have 9 into p so we'll keep it as 9 p 11 8 is 88 and 13 4 is 52 now we'll proceed as we did uh, as we learned the formula so let us find out the summation of f i x i if we add this will give us 303 3. we cannot add this 9 p to it so let it be as it is and the summation of this will be um, 41 plus, oh sorry, P. Now how do we find the mean? We will finding the mean as summation of Fi Xi by summation of Fi. That is given here as 7.5. So it is 3, 0, we will substitute the values now. We will get an equation and we will solve it to get the value of P. Now if we cross multiply, I will be getting 303 plus 9P, 7.5 into 41. I think it is 307.5 plus 7.5p now let us change sides to solve this equation this I think is giving me 1.5 is equal to I mean 1.5p and this is giving us 4.5 in that case p becomes 4.5 by 1.5 and we are getting p as 3 in the next session we will be taking up rest of the methods thank you